Welcome back to the final playthrough of Crokinole Solitaire, a game included in the Crokinole Cards Kit created by Coulter Hahn. The rules are simple, knock all opponent discs off the board, then score an open 20. But this time, I only have three shots per round. If you want a full understanding of how the game works or to see other playthroughs, you can watch all of those on our channel. The reason it's taken so long to get this video out is because the hard difficulty is genuinely hard. I've tried it quite a few times and quit on it quite a few times. So with that, if you are looking to improve your Crokinole skills, Crokinole Cards is the game for you. So go to tracyboards.com and buy your set today. With that, let's get right into it. To quickly recap, there are three levels on each difficulty which determine how many cards you draw per round. Regardless, you always draw four cards to start. So something I'm gonna try to do more through this video is to talk through my shots before I take them. So with that, there's this nice double here that I'm seeing. I might catch the peg, but I think if I angle it right, it should be a-okay. And I can angle him for a 20. No 20, but we got the double, which is a great start. Uh, I'm gonna go for this easy outside one here now. One of the rules in Crokinole Solitaire is you can remove your own disc from the board if it's interfering with the shot you wanna take. So this one, I don't like that because I wanna to try to come up here and bounce back for a 20. Not quite, but a better spot for the next round. So I'm gonna drive through and do that angling slash follow through shot on this first one. Now, anytime you score a 20 in Crokinole Solitaire, you get to reshoot that disc. So that's awesome. Now I'm gonna try to angle in off this for another 20. At the very least, I want to get that off. Get an easy off here. Now, if I score an open 20, we'll move on to the next level. There we go. So to start off level two, we only have three discs on the board. That's the good news. The bad news is I have to take one shot with my left hand, which is a little bit annoying. I would normally angle in off this one, but I think I'm gonna go left-handed with that just to uh, deal with it, because my left hand sucks. Nailed it. I don't see the double here, so I'm just gonna go for easy takeoffs to start with an empty board on the next round. Almost the follow through. So I'm thinking right away, I'll come up the left lane. Nice. If I get this double, then I have two more shots left. <laughs> That's a win. That is a win. I'm gonna claim that. I did that on purpose. Get this easy off out here. Now I have two shots at the open 20 to move on to level three. Mm. Uh-oh. I'm thinking a double here is risky, but I don't know, I can't afford, I don't know, I feel like I'm behind now. I really wanna go for it. <laughs> that was rough. Okay, let's just think about board cleanup now. I'm just gonna try to recover. Nice, and this is tough. There might be a very thin double here, and if I can get that, we'll be back. Oh, touched it, but not enough. What a crappy setup. <laughs> I'm thinking a blast double here is risky, but also let's go for it. I'm gonna remove this. I can get a 20 here. A little bit tough, a little bit of follow through, but oh, well, that wasn't it. I'm gonna remove this again because now there is definitely a double here if I line it up. Nice, let's go. I've yet to deal with that. That's you, you, that one, that, that one right there. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna go for a catch this and maybe catch a peg or move that one off the post. We'll, uh, we'll see. That's not the worst. I'm gonna almost half hole it here. 
nice and then another clean off and we get not a bad roll the next turn we'll be good to go <laughs> Wop, wop, wop. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so I got I got robbed on that last round and then drew four cards. So I'm a happy camper right now. We're good. We're fine. I'm not upset about this. There's a double going through here and I might be able to catch a peg. I'm gonna go for the easy off here. I may as well try to catch a peg because if I end up getting a 20, I got a shot to end this level. So <laughs> I needed to uh, take my time with that. And that's, that's not what I did. That's always take your time with your shots, folks. I really want to start hunting for that 20. So I'm going to go for a follow through here. Not quite. I do think, now I put it that way, I do think there's a potential double. I'm gonna take my time this time. Okay, no double, that's fine. We can start with an empty board on the next round. Nice. I do believe there's an angle double there, relatively easy. Okay, not quite. Be down to this 120. All right. All right, we're there, we're there. No! Okay. So that's probably the hardest part about this game is going from trying to go for difficult shots, different kinds of shots, and then switching back to open 20s, which really simulates an actual game when you get those open 20 opportunities or you're starting a new round. So in that sense, it's really good practice, but in a very real other sense, it's such a piss off. All right, with that, we're gonna get this simple off. Also just gonna go for the off here. Open 20, open 20. Yes, let's go, woo! We're on the final level. I'm done playing around. I'm good, good, this is the take. Easy take out 20 here. There we go, another angle in 20 here. I'm gonna go here, catch the peg, in. Okay, you can't have them all. Go this takeout on the side. Open 20, finish it without even getting into the dice. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Mm. I'm that guy. That felt lame, I'm gonna do another level three. One. We're gonna test my hubris. Angle in 20 here. Uh-oh. <laughs> I gotta remove that. I may have made a mistake. Blast double here. Nice. And then easy takeoff on this. We'll start with an empty board and get into actual dice rolls. There we go. It's here, angling for the 20 and get that double. Almost, almost. Okay, I'm gonna try to angle in off this one. Not quite, I'm gonna move this out of the way. Rather than going through Kogan's, you can just catch it here. I'm not trying to keep mine on. And then, open 20. I'm that guy, again! Woo! Thank you again for tuning in to the Crokinole Solitaire series and my shenanigans. Again, this was a lot of fun and I highly recommend if you're looking to improve your Crokinole skills, this is the game for you. Whether you're a beginner or somewhat competitive like me, there's a wide range of levels and difficulties within the set that will challenge you to be better. So go to tracyforce.com to buy your set and make it a great day.